Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part three of how to make an iPhone game using Unity 3D. I am your host, Karma Crazy. In the last video, we started working on our script for our joystick, and if you were able to test it out, um, you would see some issues with it. The first uh, immediate problem that you would notice is uh, it's incredibly hard to keep your finger on the GUI texture. As long as you manage to keep your finger touching the texture, you can drag it around, but it's quite challenging to do so. The cause of this problem is that we aren't offsetting our touch position by half of the height and width of GUI.PixelInsert. As a result, the corner of our joystick GUI is being set to touch.position. So we're going to fix this issue with some simple code. Alright, what we're going to do here is we're going to do function reset with a capital R reset joystick parentheses and parentheses bracket we're going to do GUI dot pixel inset equals default react R-E-C-T capital R last capital F for finger ID capital I equals one position equals capital V vector two dot zero finger down capital D POS capital P equals vector type vector two dot zero space if parentheses touch pad and do not hit caps lock like I did <laughs> if touch pad and parentheses space GUI dot color dot a equals zero point zero two five one and we need a brackets. And if you guys get an error here, um make sure to capital uh capitalize the P there in touchpad. Alright, now um we did that because um, it is important for determining how much the thumb has moved away from the original center. We also need to declare a private variable, so we need to do private var gui touch for the capital T offset vector 2. Hold on. Oh, did I do vector 3? My fault. Vector 2. Let's go ahead and do the function for the touchpad. We're going to do if parentheses touchpad with a capital P. Don't make the mistake like I did earlier. And we're going to do we're going to do a bracket. Do another space. If parentheses GUI dot texture in parentheses touch the zone equals default react r e c t bracket else open bracket now we're going to do the offset for touch input to match with the top left corner of the GUI. So to do that we're going to do GUI touch offset dot x equals default R E C T dot width 
times 0 0.5 GUI touch offset dot y equals default RECT dot height times 0 0.5 alright and that's all we need to do with that right now so now in the update function we get a new vector 2 named GUI touch position and set it to touch dot position GUI touch offset which accounts for the GUI texture starting in the top left we can then use GUI touch position dot X and GUI touch position dot Y to update our GUI dot pixel inset values before we move on to the next step, let's go ahead and finish our function here for a GUI touch offset. Now we're going to do the we're going to cache the center of the GUI since it doesn't change, so we're going to use GUI center dot x equals default rect dot x plus GUI touch offset dot x GUI dot GUI center don't mind me dot y equals default rect dot y plus GUI touch offset dot Y alright let's build the GUI boundary so we can clamp joystick movement GUI boundary with a capital B and we haven't declared these yet that's why we don't have any matches but I just wanted to go ahead and do this first I know in the tutorial um, this isn't the next step but I wanted to go ahead and get this out of the way while we were here I don't. Um, we'll we'll come back to it and we'll explain it in a little later. But right now, let's just go ahead and build it so we have it. Touch offset dot x, and we're gonna do GUI boundary dot max dot x equals default rect dot x plus GUI touch offset dot x how did I make that lowercase x and now we're gonna do um, GUI boundary min and max for y so GUI boundary dot min dot y equals default React dot y minus GUI touch offset dot y. Now we're going to do GUI boundary dot max dot y equals default React dot y plus GUI touch offset dot y. Let's go ahead and put a bracket here, and let's go ahead and put the end bracket there. All right. So we skipped ahead a little bit, but as you can see, um, it'll 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 make more sense to finish the code now. When we come back to it, I'll explain um, everything this part here um, a little bit later. But for now, just have that code there, and we'll come back to it in a little bit. Now let's go ahead and declare our variables here. So we're going to do private var GUI and GUI texture with a capital T. We're going to do private var default RECT RECT private variable and GUI 
and see this is what we were working at GUI boundary this is what we were working on and now we're just declaring it boundary equals boundary parentheses colon private var GUI touch offset vector to private var GUI capital C for center vector to now we're going to do our function function start let's do a bracket oh not see space so we're going to cache this component at startup instead of looking up every frame so we're going to go ahead and GUI equals get component parentheses GUI texture should be a capital G GUI texture now we're going to store the default react for the GUI so we can snap back to it so we're going to do default RECT equals GUI dot pixel inset and now we're going to do default RECT dot X plus or equals transform dot transform dot position dot x times screen dot width slash slash plus gui dot pixel inset dot x minus screen dot width times 0 0.5 default react dot y plus plus or equals not plus plus <laughs> plus or equals transform dot position if I can spell position right <laughs> position dot y times screen dot height minus screen dot height times 0 0.5 transform dot position dot x equals 0 dot 0 transform dot position spell position right <laughs> dot y equals 0 dot Zero. All right, so we're at a good stopping point now. Make sure to save your code. Make sure to save your scene. File, say, okay, code is saved. Scene is saved. All right, lots of coding down. You guys can test it now. Um, if we get any errors, we'll have to go and explore them in the next video. But for now, got to pause it. So, if you guys are having any error messages, just uh, let me know in the comments below and we'll go ahead and work those out in the next video. Please subscribe, click the annotation on the right to watch the next one. Please click the like button, it does help out a lot. If you guys have any more questions, you can uh, tweet to me at Karma Crazy Games on Twitter. 
Um, you guys can hit me up on Facebook, um, Karma Crazy Games on Facebook. I'll link my Facebook page in the description below. Alright guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Please subscribe.